I've just put together this hopefully brief video to explain to you a little bit about the lace class. Now, we're absolutely not making lace. We're using lace to create these surfaces for embroidery. And, and just to demonstrate that, to illustrate that better, I've got a couple of pieces here that I've made using these surfaces. This is a surface here that I've created using lace and other fabrics. And that's what I'll be showing you. And then I've hand embellished on top on this one. There's a little bit of a plique here. There's a lot of hand stitch. I've got a couple of mirrors that are new on here. I just put those on last night. So, you know, this is the what the possibilities are once you've created this cloth to take it forward and as a wonderful, really delicate and very, very exclusive and unique background for your stitching. You couldn't go out and buy this cloth well. I'm saying that I doubt very much, I challenge you to see if you could buy it and I would imagine that if you could buy it you would be talking a lot of money but I wouldn't want to buy it, I prefer to make my own I love the process of actually creating something from scratch including the fabric that I'm going to embroider on top of so and I'll be showing you how to make these surfaces but then I'll also in the second week it'll be a case of demonstrating the best way to apply the surface stitching, the hand stitching to it, okay so that's one now you might remember this piece that I had the dilemma with um, about how to display it, you know, what to do with it. You might remember that from a few weeks ago. This surface was created in the methods that I'm going to be demonstrating in the class. And then I added the applique on top, didn't I? Do you remember the petals and there's bullion knots and then these loop things? You know, so this is another surface that I created in this manner. Um, and look how different they are as well, depending on the fabrics that you use, the cloth that you use. And if you do subscribe to the class, then there's a video on there about choosing cloth for this class and the kind of things you can use. And this is a quite recent one that I've just started working on recently. I'll move these two out of the way and then you can see this one in more detail. Um, so yeah, this is, again, normal fabric. Um, and lace and then I'm starting to hand embellish on here although I haven't done a lot on here so that's the background and you might think well, how am I going to stitch on there look out but then I will show you that in the second part of the class I will talk to you about that and demonstrate that and then finally there's another surface here you probably remember this this is my veil my festooned I called it piece there's a massive amount of hand embroidery on here, a massive amount. I couldn't even begin to count the number of bullion knots on here, the amount of mirrors on here, the amount of um, applique on here, um, and cut work on here, and hemming with bits of lace that have been put on by hand. These were put on by hand. But this fabric on the background, this fine web-like structure, I will also be demonstrating how to create that. And then again in the second week, giving you tips and ideas on how to embellish that. So that's basically what this class is about. It's not a lace making class. It's using lace as a tool to create unique backgrounds for your hand embroidery, okay? And it, say there was 10 people on this class, I can guarantee you that everybody will make something different. Nothing will look the same. Because for a start, we're all individuals and we'll put something together different from the person next to us. We'll have different supplies than the person next to us. So I'm not concerned that we're going to have a lot of fabric that looks the same because that really isn't going to happen. And the other very important thing about this class is you do need a sewing machine. Um, that can do free machine embroidery so it either needs to have the capability to drop the feed which is the teeth that run under the needle or for that feed to be covered that is essential okay and you also need to be able to either use a free machine embroidery foot on there or to be able to take your existing foot off and stitch with just the needle but I talk more about that in, within the class but that is an essential I'm, if you haven't got a sewing machine or access to a sewing machine then I'm afraid you can't do this um, which is a shame because I'm all about hand embroidery really when I do this it's not through a love of the sewing machine it's through a love of hand embroidery and having a unique background for that hand embroidery I wouldn't, apart from not being able to make this, I wouldn't care if I didn't have a sewing machine. But I'm using that to my advantage and to the advantage of my hand embroidery so that I can create these very unique, what I think are unique and special backgrounds 
to then hand embroider on top of them which enhances the hand embroidery it's still all about the hand embroidery but the machine is a means to making that hand embroidery more beautiful in my opinion as in terms of creating that surface so that's just a brief um, run through of what we'll actually be doing in the class because I didn't want anyone to think we were going to be making lace because I wouldn't know where to start with that okay so I hope that helps anyway